Hey guys, so it's me again. Gonna do this because, quite frankly, I just did a, a favorites video and it came out like way long. So I'm gonna set the timer this time so I don't go over my time. So getting right on in it. Um, the first product I'm loving um, is a brush. And it's this brush right here. It's called the Buffer Brush. It's by Sonia Kashuk. Um, it's very dense. As you can see, it's very dense. Um, this handle, at first I was like, that looks really weird. Like, you know, but it fits like a pencil in your hand. It's like the perfect brush. Um, speaking of this brush, I used it to apply my um, Bare Minerals in Fairly Light. This is another thing I'm loving lately. I've never had mineral makeup. This is the first time I've ever tried mineral makeup. And I went to Ulta and asked the girl um, at Bare Essentials. Um, just curiosity, I've never used any kind of mineral makeup. And I had been looking at the Bare Minerals kit and the Pure Minerals kit. And there's about $30 difference between the two. In the Bare Essentials kit, you do get a little more product. You get like two different concealer, two different um, foundations, the mineral veil, I think you get like three brushes and something that comes in a spray bottle. I believe it might be a primer. And then the Pure Minerals kit you get three compacts. One is a blush, one is a uh, powder, and the other one is your foundation, I guess. Anyway, so she gave me some free samples of this. It came with a little mini kabuki. Um, I don't necessarily like this mini kabuki because it's very scratchy. So, um, I bought this brush thinking it would be kind of easier to do and it's so soft and it worked so good with it. I'm telling you, this brush is worth it. It is a very good brush. Anyway, okay, so that's two things I'm loving. Um, right now, um, I just washed all my brushes. Um, and another thing I'm loving for washing my brushes, I'm sorry, my ADD is going off. So I kind of went in to do, uh, tell you about this product and then started to tell you about this product, which I'll go into it anyways. So I washed my brushes tonight and this is something that I'm loving for cleaning your brushes. Um, it's the brush cleaning jar from Low Cornell. You can get it at Michael's. It's like $6. Um, and all you do is, and I talked about this in a haul video, um, but I'm doing it anyways because I like this product. You take this little sponge out, and it's damp now because I used it, but you um, wet it, wring it out, and then you put it in the jar with a little bit of water and your shampoo on top. Then you take your brush, I'm just going to, for demonstration's sake, take this little corner brush, and then you just kind of go on it, and as you can, you know, this thing, the little bristles down here, um, which I'll show you, it's like really bristly, you probably can't tell. It cleans the bristles and then you know you squeeze it, squeeze it, and you rinse. And it just makes it so much easier. It's more hygienic. Because if you're like me, I don't like um, when you clean them the old way, how you pour the product in your hand, then you wash, and then you squeeze it. And it seems like you waste a lot of product that way. Um, I will do a more full in depth about this on the next time I deep clean my brushes next week. So, note to come, that's coming. Um, second thing, back to this. Sexy in the City Nail Polish by China Glaze. Um, this color is so pretty. I had uh, someone ask me about it uh, in my Cupcake Mask review. Um, it's so gorgeous color. I just can't. In fact, it's the color that I chose to paint my MAC brushes with. Um, the only thing about it, I had to put down a coat of white, which I do have China Glaze white um, underneath it, and then put the sex intensity on top, which made it look really good. Uh, another brush I'm loving is the Bent Angle Eyeliner Brush from Sonia Kashuk. It's really small, really thin. Gets, you know, in your eye, you know, right there on your, you know, upper. It's really good brush. Make it geek, uh, TV. Marlena uses it, um, a lot, so props. Um, another thing I'm really loving is NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Um, I have been looking for a new mascara, and this is what the wand looks like. Let me put that, hopefully you can see it. Okay, it's 
kind of got like an hourglass kind of shape and this is in the volumizing um formula um and it's just it doesn't clump that's one thing i really love about this it does not clump um on to another eye product nyx jumbo pencil and milk um i also love the one in strawberry milk which is the light pink one it's this one it's amazing these are amazing things if you have an ulta near you and can get your hands on some go buy some um anyway on to the next thing pink swoon blush by mac this this color is really pretty soft pink it gives you just the prettiest flush and it's i, I have worn it every day and it's one of my favorite go-to's okay so i've had two eye combination looks that i'm been going with lately and lately i've been kind of wanting to do natural not natural i keep wanting to say natural i mean neutral eyes because i have a lot of bright colors i have greens purples blues anything so um lately my favorite look has been bear city paint pot all over the eye then amber lights which is this color here it's a really pretty copper color it it is a frost shadow and you probably will not be able to see it true to color because the fact i don't have any lighting behind the camera right now but it's this really pretty gold anyways put that on the outer half of the lid feather it in a little bit to the front with um to define the crease i use nyx dark brown which i'm loving these nyx shadows like really good and they're cheap i mean they're not cheap they're like four or five dollars a shadow but it's good quality for that another eyeshadow look that i've been doing a lot lately is mac artifacts paint artifact artifact paint pot which i am in love with this paint pot it is the most gorgeous color i love this color and then in on top of the paint pot i would put nyx eyeshadow in rust which is like pretty burgundy color I don't know if you can see that true color but I am in love with this color collection okay I have like three minutes left so the last product I'm going to talk about is a hair product and it's um Kenra platinum smoothing cream and it, this is just a travel size bottle of it I'm actually going to have to go buy some more because it's almost out but I got this for Christmas in um, one of those gift sets. And me, I have really thick, coarse hair. And you probably can't tell now because I have it flat ironed, like, really good. But um, where I live in the South, the last few days, it's been kind of rainy, cold, humid. So put this in. It does not frizz. It is so good. And I love, love it love it so that's kind of my um favorite things um i actually have a minute left so i'm going to throw one more thing in there i actually don't have it up here it's in my purse but another thing i am loving loving ice breakers gum ice cubes the ice cubes gum it is amazing. If you saw my video, what's in my purse, it's in that video. Um, I just recently got a new flavor and discovered the strawberry smoothie flavor. And oh my god, strawberry smoothie gum is like the best. I love it. Um, I guess that's it. Um, no, there is one more thing that I'm loving. It has nothing to do with muc bleh, bleh, muc up makeup beauty or anything all i'm gonna do is i'll show it to you and i'll let that be that and you probably already know or have a guess but this is it yeah i've watched it like maybe 10 times <laughs> i can't help it i'm a, like i said i'm an i'm an addict Oh well. I'll see you guys later. Oh, 30 seconds. Another thing I love, Blackberry cases. I bought this Blackberry case for my Blackberry and it's amazing. I'm going to like swirl it up and get me a new one.
anyways thanks guys um stay tuned for the in-depth review on this and tutorial on that and i'll talk to you guys later thank you bye